independent living is a different strategy. It's um, it's it's not it's a non medical strategy for senior housing, and the ages are people people come to assist independent living is at a little younger, um, and obviously with less problems than um, assisted living. So um, there's not as much. Um, there's no medical need usually for the most part. And if it is, it's something managed by the physicians. Um, and if they need extra care, you know, like home care or something like that from us, they could buy that in addition to the, uh, the living situation. But, um, independent living is, it has a very low barrier of entry because of that. There's no license requirement in most states. There's no, um, it's not regulated. <laughs> there's no medical staff. And it's just usually a full time aid from what from what I've what we've implemented. Um, we're, we're using one full time aid per per home um, and then like a fill in if she ever needs time off and stuff like that. So um, the the um, the income that you get per bed is a little lower when you're thinking about assisted living. You're getting about um, three thousand and up. Some states, some states by as low as twenty five hundred, but usually at least three thousand and up for just like your normal average, even below average property um, will get you at least three grand per bed for uh, for uh, assisted living, independent living because there's no medical need, there's no um, there's need there's no need for a nurse, there's no need for a uh, uh, twenty five medical staff, <laughs> so there's there's no there's no real you know, medical services being provided. So we only charge um, between 1700 per per bed for a semi-private and then like up to like 2000 for a private room. 